Hello again. In this video I'll try to provide a brief overview of the PRC-77 in Acre 2 build 2.1.0.724. Uh, going from right to left I'll go over each of the radio interface components and briefly cover how to tune the radio. Firstly we have the volume control switch. Uh, this starts at the highest setting of 10 and can be adjusted by right and left clicking the switch as needed. Uh, below this we have the function switch. Uh, this has five settings, and like the volume control switch, can be changed by left and right clicking the switch. Uh, the first two positions are the on and off power settings, however by default the switch will start at the squelch position. Uh, with the function switch in this position, the squelch on the radio is enabled. Uh, this uses a fixed 150Hz CTCSS subtone. What this means is that the, while the PRC-77 has squelch disabled, it can listen to another PRC-77 that has squelch enabled. However, it can't talk to the squelch enabled PRC-77 as it's not transmitting the 150Hz subtone. Uh, for two PRC-77s to communicate, they must both have squelch enabled or they must both have squelch disabled. Uh, between the PRC-77 and newer, more modern radios such as the PRC-148, 152 and 107 Foxtrot. This gets slightly uh, more complicated. Uh, with Squelch disabled, the PRC-77 can hear any of these ra other radios, but not be able to talk to them unless you know they're receiving CTCSS eh, CT tone is disabled. If the PRC-77 has Squelch enabled, however, other radio will have to have its uh, receiving and transmitting CTCSS tones set to 150 Hz for the two radios to be able to actually communicate. Next position is retrans, and this would enable retrans mode in the radio. And finally, by holding the function switch in the light position, this should eliminate the channel dial in the center of the radio interface. Uh, however, at the moment, both of these last two positions are non-functional in the current build of Acre 2. In the centre of the radio we have the channel dial, and this is where the frequency currently used by the radio is displayed. Now on either side of this are the megahertz and kilohertz tuning knobs. Again by left and right clicking uh, these, uh, we can adjust the frequency. Uh, however, additionally holding the shift key while doing this will turn the knob five steps rather than just the one. Uh, left of these knobs is the frequency band switch. This allows us to tune the radio to the 30, oh, in the 30 to 52 megahertz band and the 53 to 75 megahertz band. Uh, the final two switches on the radio are the preset switches. Uh, the PRC77 can store two presets. To set these, we first have to tune the radio to the required frequency using the tuning knobs. And uh, once that's done, we simply right click on one of the two preset switches. And this will store the knob positions for the desired frequency to that preset switch. And to later recall this uh, preset, simply left click on the preset we tuned it to. I should note that as the presets store the knob positions required to set the frequency rather than the frequency itself, when you switch frequency band, the uh, frequency tune will be well, tuned by the presets uh, will be 23 megahertz higher or lower depending on which band you're switching to. Uh, so make sure when you're using the well, you're using the right frequency band when selecting a preset. Uh, compared to the PRC 148 and the other modern radios in Acre 2, the PRC 77 is incredibly simple. However, I've included a link to the Acre 2 wiki page for the PRC 77 in the description and I'll be happy to answer any questions as far as I'm able to uh, in the comments. Uh, thanks for watching.